January is National Blood Donor Month, which made us think it might be a good time to talk a little bit about more blood donations and what actually happens after someone gives blood. And a lot of people do, and we all they always need blood. Bonfies explains how it's year-round they need blood, and they say it takes about 3,000 do donations every week just to meet the needs of patients in Colorado and beyond. So Dr. John is joining us again to talk about this and what's behind the blood donation process. And you're right, that 3,000 is just here in Colorado. It's not nationwide, it's just in Colorado. Just in Colorado, every, wow. every week. Right, exactly. But we thought it'd be kind of interesting that, because a lot of people know what happens when you donate blood. You get a quick stick of a needle, blood fills up a bag, then you get some apple juice or another kind of treat, maybe get a t-shirt. But a lot of us don't know there's a big difference between once it's processed and when it's donated and what happens in between. And so that's the main thing. We wanted to show that. So we got a tour of Bonfi's Blood Center today to learn more about that in-between process. Now here's what happens. Pints of blood are in process. That's the blood you give. It's in process. Then they're put in a centrifuge. That's this big spinning machine. It separates the plasma, which is the clear part of the blood, from the red blood cells. The plasma is then frozen after it's separated to save it, and the red blood cells are filtered so they can remove out the white blood cells. That prevents patients from reacting to anything in the blood when it's given to them. Then the red blood cells are put in quarantine storage until samples of the blood are tested for a huge list of diseases. Now, once these tests are done, the blood is then labeled by type. For example, O negative, A positive. That way they know what kind of blood they have and it's moved into an inventory area. A distribution team works 24 hours a day, seven days a week, every day of the year to take the processed blood, send it out to hospitals all over Colorado. But the important part is those who work in the lab say their job, although it's very detailed oriented, it's also extremely rewarding. We are saving lives every day. That's, that's one thing I would say to the public. If you're, get, if you're gonna donate uh, blood, it takes like maybe an hour and a half of your time by the time you drive here and drive home and donate. And if you're doing platelets, it's a little longer. It's like two-ish hours. But really, an hour or two hours to save somebody's life, it really isn't that big of a sacrifice. And she makes a great point. It truly isn't, and it can save lives. Now, there are actually three different parts of blood that are used for patients red blood cells, platelets, and plaza. Each of them has different shelf life, which makes the need for blood constant here in Colorado and of course across the nation. In fact, frozen plasma, which is taken from each blood donation, is actually good for up to one year, and Bonfi says you can save more than one life with each donation. And just because the plasma is good for a year, that's not the others as well. For example, the platelets, that's part of it, they're only good for five days. Okay. And so it goes anywhere from five oh, days wow. to one year. So again, that's why there's that constant need for blood. So donors can given. come in exactly. every day. And you know, a lot of people think about donating when they get the call out and saying, hey, we're missing this kind of blood, and we know there's a big, some big incident that happened. We need blood, but they need that blood on a continuing basis. So please donate. Well, and we just heard of that Denver police officer that lost all that blood after exactly. he was shot. You know, if you need an image in your head, think of a, of a story or think of someone else, and it's like it's a couple hours of your time to maybe relax and take it's time a, to breathe. You get the apple juice, you get the T-shirt, and now you know where the blood goes. And the important part is your body reproduces that blood quickly, and so it's not like it's going to go away from you. Your body's going to replenish it very quickly. It's a relatively can, easy process that really does go a long way. It, exactly. Day, so. And saving lives. And there, yeah. There's no better feeling than saving lives, and so yeah. you can do that an easy way to do it. Well, because of you, Dr. John, I think that's why we moved our old set into this space, because we needed to have you come Excellent. out here and join us. <laughs> Great. So that's we're perfect. on this set for a little while until we get the new one. That's good. And I like this set. Very I know, because nice. we were too cramped in there in, this, in the newsroom. So now that <laughs> was an important reason bit. to get it out was. here. It was. a great reason for that's a great cause. That's the power of Dr. John. <laughs> that's what I say. I've got to tell my wife that. I have a lot of power. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she's real. That'll She'll go love to big. hear that. I'll That'll go for big. But thank you for sharing that. That's a lot of it's nice to see behind the scenes. Absolutely. Yeah. The man behind the curtain, as we say.